Hello everyone, welcome to the Sci-Fi Corridor tutorial. Be sure to watch the entire video as I will be giving you several helpful tips and tricks on how to use Blender throughout this entire video. Alright, let's get started. As you can see here, we have a brand new scene here in Blender. We're going to go ahead and we're going to select and delete everything, including the default cube. Even though we're going to hit Shift A, Mesh, and add a cube. We're going to zoom out a bit. We're going to hit S to scale and 8. Make this cube really big. Hit G, Z axis, bring it up. Okay, we got a nice big cube here. We're gonna hit Alt Z to go into X-ray mode, and we hit Tab to go into Edit mode. And let's make sure we hit three that we got our faces. We got our faces mode on, and uh, we're gonna select these two faces on opposite sides on the Y axis. Hit Delete Faces. Okay, we're already starting to kind of have a hallway here. Uh, real quick, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control R here to do an edge loop. No, actually, to do a loop cut here. Gonna hit left mouse button and we're gonna hit escape to lock it right in place on the y-axis control r same thing make sure it's running along the y-axis we're gonna hit three to go to faces mode select these faces delete faces now we're gonna go to our modifiers panel select it go to add modifier generate mirror turn on clipping and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding some detail control r we're gonna and we're gonna roll the mouse once so we make two cuts here and just kind of bring these down a bit. Hit G and then X to go along the X axis. We're gonna bring this out a bit. Just kind of gives it that, you know, that sci-fi hallway look that we've seen in a lot of movies and everything. Um, okay, so let's start, let's start adding some detail. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control R and we're gonna define, we're gonna kind of give some, the floor some detail here. We're gonna, also what we're gonna do really quickly is we're gonna go up to our snap, turn it on. That's a little uh, magnet right here and turn on snap to vertices by clicking there and we're going to control r up here let's see i'm sorry we're going to control r up here left click and when you mouse over right here it'll snap to this vertice right here okay so now we have that let's add some detail to our floor we're going to hit three faces mode select this face e to extrude bring it up and we don't need this face right here or this one right here. So we're gonna go ahead and delete those. Okay. Okay, looking good so far. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and apply this mirror because we're gonna start with the floor, add some detail to the floor. I'm gonna click apply. And because what I wanna do is I wanna get rid of this edge right here. So I'm gonna left click it and I'm gonna right click, click dissolve edges. So now we should have one single plane here. I'm gonna divide up into multiple pieces by doing an edge loop, control R. I'm gonna roll my mouse and do, I'm gonna do 40 cuts. Sounds a little crazy, but bear with me. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit three to go into faces mode. Okay, so now we're gonna hit uh, Alt Z, get out of uh, X-ray mode. And we're going to make sure we're in faces mode by hitting three again. We're gonna select this face and then we're gonna select every other face. So this is a little tedious, but that's what uh, 3D modeling and art is all, is all about. Although sometimes we find ways to uh, speed things up or whatever. So if there is a way to speed this up, please let me know. All right, looking good. Okay, we're gonna hit E to extrude. And we're just gonna go ahead and go down along the, the Z axis automatically. Okay, and then what we wanna do is we wanna get rid of these faces along here, along this side here. So we're gonna hit three, well actually, so we're already in faces mode, we're gonna hit Alt Z, and then we're gonna click this X up here on our uh, directional cross right here. Okay, we're gonna select here, we're gonna select here while holding Shift. So as you can see, all these faces are selected, we're gonna hit Delete, Faces. So as you can see, we're already starting to get kind of a grill look to the floor, uh, but we wanna add some more detail to this. But to uh, try to cut down on uh, redundancy, we're going to hit Control R along this center edge right here. As you can see, it's running right, right along the Y axis. Want to make sure it snaps into place by hitting Escape. And we're going to go ahead, go back to our Y axis, and uh, we're going to hit three to make sure we're in Faces mode. Alt Z, make sure we're in X-ray mode. We're going to select all these faces to the left of the blue line. Hit Delete. Okay. Now we're going to add our modifier again mirror and be sure to click check clipping 
Okay, so we got our we've got our uh, we've got our kind of our grill floor look. Um, now we want to add some more detail to it, so we're going to hit Control R and roll the mouse twice, so we have uh, three cuts here. Okay, we're going to hit Escape to make sure that stays center. We're going to scale it on the Y axis and just kind of spread these out a bit. Then we're going to hit Control B and we're going to bevel these a bit. Now, making sure we're still in faces mode. Now, with these still selected, I'm gonna hit Control I, so that inverses the selection. And then I basically wanna deselect everything except for these recessed um, faces along here, not the raised ones. We wanna, we wanna only have these selected. So the quick way to do that, we're gonna click the Y on our directional cross, hit three, make sure we're in faces mode, Alt Z to make sure we're in X-ray mode. And I'm gonna hold Control, left click and drag, Okay, we just about got everything deselected. All right, looking good. If you did it all right, you should just have these bottom uh, faces selected. We're gonna hit E to extrude. Let it go down along the Z axis automatically. Then we're gonna delete some more faces here, don't worry. Okay, actually de I just left click in this blank area just to deselect everything. Gonna left click and drag over here. This should be just this face right here and holding shift, go over here. And as you can see, these faces on the end should all be should be selected. Hit D, I mean hit delete, faces. Oh yes, uh, we got some more faces we need to delete. We're gonna hit Y, go to the Y axis, and Alt Z, um, X-ray mode. And then just left click and drag. Okay, we, should, we have those selected right now. We need to delete those as well. All right, we're looking pretty good so far. Hopefully everyone's able to keep up with this. Uh, please let me know if I'm ever going too fast for you guys in the comment section or anything. I mean, remember, remember you can always pause the video and keep up and everything. Okay, all right, so we've got a nice looking floor now. Um, one thing, uh, one note um, for uh, later in the video, what we're gonna do really quickly, um, we're gonna select some edges down here. We're gonna select this, this edge, this edge, and this edge right here. Basically make sure it's these edges running along this far right side of the floor. And we're gonna hit E to extrude, hit Z, -ax Z to hit the Z axis. Um, we're gonna select these edges right here, hit F to fill that gap. Select these two edges right here, hit F to fill the gap. And same here, F to fill the gap. Gonna hit E to extrude, X axis. Select all that, G, Z axis, make sure you're in faces mode. All right, looking pretty good. Okay, so let's start adding some detail to our actual hallway, aside from just the floor. Um, I'm actually, I think I'm gonna bring this out a bit more. I want this, this hallway to be a little wider. I'm gonna select all these in faces mode, hit G, X axis. Okay. Now, we're gonna add just kind of a little separator type thing. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Um, we're gonna hit Control R. Okay. Now what we need to do is, I'm actually, I'm going to, we're gonna hit one to go into vertices mode, select all these vertices, hit G, X axis. Just kind of bring these over a bit. Um, we're still in snap mode. We're gonna hit Control R down here and snap to here. Okay, so we're gonna select this face right here, and then we want to select all these faces. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna hold Control and Shift and select this face, and it selects all these ones in between them. Okay, we're gonna E to shoot, S to scale, Z axis. Kind of bring these in a bit. Without deselecting anything, be sure to hit Control, and we're gonna deselect all these faces, except for this one right here, hit G, X axis, bring it out. Okay. And actually, I want to make sure, I want, and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this face right here. Okay. Okay, then I'm gonna turn on snap. I'm gonna select this face right here, E to extrude, Z axis. Now one thing you wanna be careful of is um, there's a face that was created right here. I'm gonna select that and delete it. 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit one to go to vertices mode. We're gonna select these vertices right here. And then we're gonna hit M to merge and do by distance. As you can see, remove two vertices. All right, so we've got kind of a little kind of a little bracket, a little separator thing right here. We're gonna make some uh, small adjustments here. Gonna select these vertices right here, hit G, bring that up a bit. So we'll kind of a, we have a kind of a, so we have kind of an equal thickness around here. Gonna select these vertices right here, hit G, Z axis, bring them up a bit, looking good. All right, now we're gonna hit three, go into faces mode. And I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start, yeah, start adding some detail along the wall here. So I'm gonna control R, bring this down, control R, and just kind of eyeball it. Let's go ahead and turn off snap. We don't need it right now. A lot of this is just kind of eyeballing detail. Hit three faces modes, select this face, and we're gonna, hit, we're gonna hold control and shift and select this bottom face right here. So make sure we have all these faces, don't have any of this uh, little bracket right here. Then hit E to extrude, X axis. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add repetitions of this hallway. So we actually make it a hallway. You guys are probably wondering, why is this called a hallway? Well, I'll show you. Hit tab, get out of edit mode, and we're gonna add another modifier. We're gonna go, we're gonna add another modifier. Make sure you're still in your modifiers panel, the little wrench right here. We're gonna go add modifier. We're gonna do an array. And what we wanna do is go down here to our factors and uh, we want to turn, we wanna make X zero. And because this is running along the Y axis, I wanna add a one, set the Y axis to one. And as you can see, bam, we have a little longer hallway. And if we go to our count right here and let's turn it up to like 10, I think, we have a hallway. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, well, let's, uh, let's add some more details to this hallway. Uh, I'm gonna select, make sure I hit three, just make sure we're in faces mode. All right, we're gonna select all these faces right here by just left and click and dragging. And we're actually gonna do an inset. We're gonna hit I to inset. Make sure we're insetting all these faces together, all as one. Okay, then we're gonna do an E to extrude, bring it up a bit along the Z axis. And then we're gonna do another extrusion. We're gonna hit E to extrude as to scale, bring it in just to get just kind of a little rim right here. E to extrude, just go up naturally along the Z axis. And then we're gonna hit two to go to edge mode. Select this edge right here and this edge right here. We're all in control and shift and that will select all these edges along here. Now we're gonna hit G, Z axis, bring this up. As you can see, we're starting to get a lot of definition in this hallway. Okay, just got a few more details and then we're gonna start adding some, uh, some materials and shaders. Um, make sure and select this face right here while we're in faces mode. Hold control and shift, select this face, that selects all of those. We're gonna do a slight inset. We're gonna hit I to inset, bring it in a bit. And then we're gonna hit E to extrude, just bring up a little bit. Okay. Looking pretty good, guys. All right, so let's start adding some, uh, let's start giving this thing some life. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go into uh, preview mode. And first thing we're gonna do is we wanna establish a base color for this hallway. So we're gonna go down to our material properties, this little, little sphere shape, beach ball shape. And uh, we're gonna go to this drop down menu. We're gonna go ahead and select, make sure we're selecting the current existing material. Um, now what we wanna do is we're gonna change our base color and we're just gonna drag this down and make it kind of a grayish teal color, almost sort of like a light, maybe gunmetal color or something. And so this is kind of be, gonna be kind of our base color for the hallway. Um, now we're just gonna kind of break some things up. Um, we're gonna hit three to go to faces mode. We're gonna select this face right here on the edge and select these right here while holding control and shift. Make sure we deselect these. Let's say, yeah. Just wanna make sure these floor um, panels are selected. And we're actually gonna add another texture for those. So we're gonna go ahead and hit plus and we're gonna click the drop. We're gonna click the new. We're gonna click assign. So as you can see, 
um, anything, any changes we make to this, it makes to all these. It's sort of like when we do the mirror, except it's multiple mirrors. And then we're going to go with, I think we're gonna go with kind of a greenish color. We're gonna drag it down, make it really, really dark. And then we're gonna add some more detail. We're gonna select these faces right here. We're gonna select these, holding control and shift, just, you know, selecting large, just selecting multiple faces all at once, just to kind of speed things up a bit. We're gonna add another new surface. We're gonna hit new, assign. And I think we're gonna make these, gonna kind of bring it down to the red and kind of make it a brownish color. And as you can see, we're starting to get a lot of detail here. Actually, I think on this red, reddish color, I'm gonna darken it even more. And let's see, what do we have here? So I'm gonna select these faces right here. I'm gonna hit E to extrude Z axis. Okay, looking good, looking good. Select these faces right here. And then I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift and uh, select this line right here. So we got all these faces selected, select these. So just kind of, we just kind of this rim area around this uh, this panel up here. This is going to be a light. Um, we're going to hit plus, new, assign. We're going to select our base color and we're going to just drag this down and make it black. Just really kind of separate that. And then we're going to zoom in here a bit. Do the same thing for this one right here. Select all these faces by holding Alt and Shift and clicking these, clicking these lines in between these two faces. I'm gonna add this material to this as well. And then we're gonna add an emission to these faces right here. So we're gonna do is we're gonna go up, add another material, new, assign, and we're gonna change it from a principal BSDF to an emission. Although what we're gonna do right now is, and I'll explain this in a little bit, on this emission shader, Go down here, scroll down here to where it says shadow mode and change it from opaque to none. And so there, we're gonna really quickly, we're gonna just kind of see where we are. We're gonna go over to render preview. As you can see, of course, all the lights are off and everything. But notice how these emission shaders are bright white. It's because emission shaders kind of work like uh, when we're using blend modes in Photoshop, um, where basically with emission is that uh, um, lights and shadows do not show up. Well, I'm sorry, shadows do not show up on these. Um, and uh, what we're gonna do really quick is we're actually gonna add a light above this. So we're gonna hit Shift A, go down. Actually, uh, make sure that uh, your object is uh, unselected. We're out of we're out of uh, edit mode and everything. So um, you know, just click over here and make sure nothing's selected. We're gonna hit Shift A, and we're actually gonna go down to light. We're gonna go to area. We've got a little light right here. We're gonna hit G, Z axis, bring it up, and then we're gonna scale this, just basically to where it kind of fills this, like it's it's basically as wide as these, these panels are. We're actually gonna bring up a bit more G, Z axis. Scale it on the Y axis. Actually, I'm gonna look down my Z axis by clicking the Z up here. We're gonna bring this down a bit, G, Y axis. We're gonna scale it, X axis, so it just fits right over that. And then what we need is, and then what we need, and then what we need to do is, we're gonna go to our power for the light right here, make sure the light is still selected. And we're gonna set it to 100, see how that looks. It's not bright enough, so we're gonna set it to 1,000. Looks like it still needs a little bit more power to it, so I'm gonna set it to 2,000. Okay, we're getting some light in here. Um, real quickly, I'm gonna to go to my render, I'm gonna to go to my render properties. I'm gonna turn on some render settings. Maybe an occlusion, go ahead and click these down arrows, bloom, depth of field, high quality, jitter camera, subsurface scattering, leave those as is for right now, screen space reflections, turn on refraction, turn on motion blur, because I'm actually gonna be using that later. Uh, volume metrics, I'm gonna turn mine down to two. And then volumetric shadows. And remember some of these, you may have to tweak them, my understanding with volumetrics is that the the better your system, the higher, the lower you can, 
the better your system, the lower you can set it. So I'm going to set mine to two because I've got some pretty heavy hardware here. i um, going to go to performance, turn on high quality normals. Don't need to worry about hair right now. Uh, shadows, going to turn my cube size up to 4096 and my cascade size up to 4096. The higher, the better, um, the better quality you're going to get. Indirect lighting, I'm not going to mess with this right now. Uh, film, leave as is. Going to leave the rest of these things as is. And then on our light, I'm going to select our light and go over to our object data properties. Click on shadow. And we're going to hit contact shadows and that just kind of cleans up our shadows a bit. So as you can see right now, we're getting some pretty nice lighting here. I'm going to make some more changes to my faces real quick before I do anything else. So I'm going to select my object, the hallway, and I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode and hit three, go to make sure we're in faces mode. I'm going to select all of these right here. I'm going to select these faces. They're kind of kind of recessed in here. And uh, select these around here. Make sure we're not selecting any of the floor. We don't want any of this selected down here. We just want this structure right here selected. Okay, make sure everything over here is selected. Turn off x-ray mode, Alt-Z. And actually make sure these are selected because these will affect this right here. Because this section right here is part of our, um, our array. All right. So just to kind of distinguish this a bit more, we're going to add, we're going to go down to our material properties. We're going to add another material, new, assign. And we're going to go to our base color. We're going to drag it down real dark. And we're going to mess with our, we're going to turn our roughness down, turn metallic up. So you can see those kind of have more of a metallic look to them. We're going to add some detail down here. Hit three, make sure we're in faces mode. Select these two right here, these faces, and these faces. Hit either extrude, Z axis. Just bring those down, recess them a little bit. I'm going to go up here. I think we had a dark color. Okay, drag this up so we can see. Select that. So as you can see, we're looking looking pretty good so far. Got some more detail going here. Um, I think I'm just going to add some just kind of generic panel detail over here real quick. Um, make sure we're in faces mode still. Um, we're going to select gonna select these two faces and these two faces. Going to hit I to inset. Bring them in a little bit. Eat extrude. Bring them out. And then. Make sure and select all these faces. Make sure that all the faces around these are selected. Okay, so now that we have all these faces selected, I'm going to add another material. So click New, Assign. And I'm going to make this color, select our base color. Make this kind of a tan color. It's just, it's just so we just have a little more detail and kind of separate things a bit so it doesn't look quite so basic and everything i mean um you know the style kind of you know kind of looks like uh almost like half-life levels or something like that but the whole idea behind this style is that it's almost better it's almost good for it's good for concepting and everything and also just for basic animation hit i to inset okay heat extrude i think we're gonna add let's see select whoops i think we're gonna select all these Oops, not that. Select all those faces, select all those faces around these. We're going to add that new material to this as well. I think we're going to do is select all these. We're going to add that dark color here too. So yeah, it's kind of, kind of getting this ominous hallway look to it. And I think we're going to go ahead and select our light. And we're going to duplicate it, but we're going to hit Alt D, hit G, go along our Y axis. And actually, we're going to go ahead and uh, hit Z to look down, the Z up here to look down on our object. And I'm going to turn on wire edges. And we're just going to make a bunch of copies of this light. Hold hit G, Y axis, align it. And we hit Alt D again, G, Y axis. Now, the reason why we're not hitting Shift D is we're creating instances of this light. We're creating copies of this light that are going to, if we go, if we go back into, if we go back into render pre preview, if I make changes to this light, 
it makes changes to the rest of the lights. So in other words, if I want to make all the lights in the corridor have more of a yellowish tint to them, ooh, I kind of like that. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Um, it'll copy it to these two as well, these two instances. I'm going to select this one. Actually, I'll tell, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to select these three just to speed things up. Alt D, G, Y axis. Bring these down here. Looking good. So we need about four more. I'm going to hit Alt D, Y axis. And then I just need one more. So I'm going to deselect these. Actually, just make sure I have this one. Yeah, okay. Make sure I have just this light selected right here. Alt D, G, Y axis. All right, so we got a pretty cool looking hallway going so far. I'm um, just going to add a little bit more detail to it and then we'll move on. Actually, I think I'm going to extend this just a bit further too. So I'm going to select and I'm going to go back to our modifier properties. And I'm actually going to extend the array to 15. Uh, extend the array to 15 instances. I think we're going to add, let's add some pipes. Pipes are always in sci fi hallways, regardless of what they do. I should shift A, go to mesh, cylinder. Got a little cylinder right here. Gonna click X on the directional cross here. Gonna look over here, pan over here to where our cylinder is. We're gonna hit R to rotate along the X axis. Okay, looking good. Gonna hit G, bring it up. And actually, I'm going to snap to my looking down my my y axis. We hit G, bring it over here. This little, this we're bringing in this little alcove right here. Scale it down a bit, and then we're going to scale it. Actually, we're going to scale it just a little bit. Scale it along the y axis. Hit G, y axis, scale it. G, Z axis. And then we're going to add an array to this. So we're going to go to modifier, array, but we want it to go hit Z on our X axis. We're actually going to go to our Z axis. And this is the Z axis to this object right here. Okay. And do the same amount of iterations. We're going to do 15. Okay, so we have the pipes going along most of the length of this. So I probably need to scale it up just a little bit. Y axis. Okay. Now we're gonna add another array modifier to this. Array. And this time instead of, actually, and this time we're gonna hit zero on the x-axis. And we hit one on the y-axis. Actually, we, do, we need to do, do a minus one on the y-axis. And I'm gonna do three counts on this. I'm actually gonna bring this up just a little bit more. So our pipes are nice and spaced out. Hit G, z-axis. Good. And uh, one thing I forgot is we need to have these over here as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly click Y on our directional cross. And we're going to click over here on this little arrow right here, bring this out. And we're going to change the location of the pipes to zero. Then what we need to do is we need to do a mirror modifier to these. We need to add a mirror modifier to these. Go to modifier, generate, mirror. Now we're going to go to tab to edit mode and hit alt Z. Make sure we're in uh, x-ray mode. Hit three, select all these faces, hit G X axis. As you can see, it copied the pipes. Hit G X axis, move these out a bit more. Bring them over a bit more. Make 
the control R, make some edge cuts, hit control B to bevel. Before we do anything else, let's go up to our transform pivot point and go from median point to object's origin. Hit E to extrude as to scale. As you can see, our pipes are moving a little bit, but don't worry, we'll fix that here in a minute. Um, so what we want to do is just kind of just make uh, some, just add a little more, we're just, we just want to add a little more detail to the pipes. Um, let's see, hit Alt Z, get out of X-ray mode. We're gonna select all these faces right, actually hit three, make sure we're in faces mode. We're gonna select all these faces and all these faces right here. Sorry guys, I'm kinda, kinda having to shift around here. Hopefully nobody's getting dizzy. Okay, getting close here. Select these faces, oops. Select these faces right here. Okay. Select all these. All right, so we're gonna add, we're add some materials here. Let's just look at our existing. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this material one color. That adds it to the whole pipe. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control I to invert our selection. And we're gonna add a new material. And then we're gonna click Assign. And then, let's see, I think we had, what's this material look like? Yeah, there we go. No, I'm actually not liking the way that looks. I think we need a little bit more color to the hallway. So I think we're going to, on this, I think we're gonna add a new material. So let's see here. I click this right here. That'll make that a new material. Drag this down. Let's have some red pipes. Red pipes are always a little ominous. All right, so yeah, we're looking pretty good here, but what does a sci-fi hallway need? A sci-fi hallway needs some fog. So we're gonna hit Shift A, go to Cube, and we're gonna go ahead, we're just gonna, actually first what we need, well, first what we need to do is we need to scale it to the size of the hallway. So we're gonna click this Y right here, so we're looking down straight down the y-axis. We're gonna scale out this cube. Now I'll, I'll, I'll explain this here in a moment, but what we need to do is we need to make sure this new cube um, completely engulfs the entire hallway. So we're gonna scale along the x-axis, scale along the z-axis, make sure we're getting the lights in there. We're gonna hit Alt-Z. Actually, I'm sorry, hit Alt-Z. Let's go ahead and let's go to our viewport shading. As you can see, the box is fully engulfing the hallway and the lights up here on the uh, Z and X axis. Now we need to scale it along the Y axis. And for that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go back to render preview and select the box. We're gonna scale it along the Y axis. Hit G, scale it, bring it down here a bit. Scale it, Y axis, G. Scale, kind of tedious, I know. So, okay, so there's no fog, why? Okay, we need to add a shader. So what we're gonna do real quick is we're going to, okay, we're already on our material properties. If you're not, click the little beach ball down here. Now we're gonna add yet another material. We're gonna click new, and we're gonna change this one to fog. And we need to change some uh, settings here. And uh, for this, we need to go to our shading tab. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we're, we're over in shading now. We're gonna go ahead and change this over to render preview. So we can see what we're doing here. Now down here, this is where it gets exciting. We're going to click this material, actually we're gonna, we're gonna click this material output box right here. We're gonna detach this from here. That turns the block, the, that turns the box black, don't worry. You'll see what happens here in a minute. Then we're going to go to add volume scatter. Remember you can search for that by clicking the little, if you go up here to add and search, type in volumes and just uh, go down to scatter. 
don't need a new, another one, just uh, doing that for example. Okay, so we got our volume scatter selected. We need to drag this volume thing down to the volume on the material output. So as you can see already, that changes some settings here. Now we need to bring uh, our density down. We're gonna bring it down to 0.2. So as you can see already, it's giving us a very dimly lit hallway with a lot of fog. We need to bring this down a lot, a lot more. We hit 0 0.05. There, now we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna bring this up so you guys can see a little bit better. I think we're gonna do 0.02. Yeah, looking pretty eerie. It's got some pretty good lights here. I think we're gonna bring it down just a little bit more, 0.01. I think we're gonna go ahead and select our hallway. I'm gonna bump up the iterations on a little more. I just want it to look like a very long hallway. And then just for humor, I know these pipes don't extend all the way. We're gonna do that. We're gonna fix that here in a second. Actually, let's go, I think we'll fix that right now. Okay, there's, let's see, up our count of the pipes. Let's make them go a little further because um, this is just mainly just to show a hallway look and everything. We're going to actually, actually we need to, we need to add some more lights too. So we'll select the X. Let's go ahead and take our fog, change this from cube.001 to fog, and go up here to our funnel, our little filter up here, and click this little arrow right here, deselect de that and uh, turn off disable, we're gonna turn off disable selection, or we're gonna turn on disable selection so we can't select the fog accidentally. Select all these. We're gonna do Alt D, G, Y axis. Bring these down. Adjust them a little bit. Just need three more, so I'm just gonna select these three right here. Alt D, G, Y axis. I'm noticing my fog is not quite covering up the whole hallway, so I need to make some adjustments. Where's my fog? There it is. Okay. G, Y axis. Scale, Y axis. Just make it a lot bigger. I'm going to change, make some, I'm going to make, I'm going to add another light. I'm going to go ahead and deselect that. Select this slide here. Shift D, G, Y axis. Make sure Shift D, not um, Alt D, because this slide's going to have its own properties. Hit G, Z axis, and we're actually going to go to our object data properties, and I'm going to change it from shape from uh, square to disk. I'm going to rotate X axis so it's just pointing directly down the hallway. Scale it up really big. And we're gonna brighten this thing up to 10,000. So if we look down our hallway, we're gonna get a bright, intense light. And we're actually, I think we're gonna add, I think we're actually gonna add surface down there. Let's see. Everything's deselected. We're gonna do Shift A, Mesh, Plane, G, Y axis, bring it down. R to rotate X axis. Okay, scale it up. Okay, scale it up some more. Don't worry, we'll fix this here in a minute. We're gonna go to our material properties. I'm gonna add another material to this. And we're gonna change it from principal BSDF to an emission. And we're gonna bump this one up to, watch we're bumping up to five, not 5,000. So now when we look down our hallway, there's this bright light coming from the end of the hallway. We're not sure what's going on here. Let's go ahead, actually let's make sure, make sure deselect that. Actually, I'm gonna select it again, scale it on the Z axis. So I was seeing it through the floor down here. Um, now we're going to 
Now we're going to shift A. We're going to go down, add a camera. The camera drops directly to the 3D cursor, wherever it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a line view and I'm going to align active camera to view. So that drops it right to where we're looking. And I'm going to change my camera settings. As you can see, we're already on object data properties. I'm going to change it from 50 millimeter to 24 millimeter. And with the camera still selected, you see this orange box here, that means the camera selected. Hit view, navigation, walk navigation. And I'm just going to scroll backwards by uh, hitting the S. If you know, whenever you want to control the camera through this, uh, through walk navigation, you can control it with uh, WASD keys. Um, just like in a first-person shooter, and you can also move around with the mouse. You don't have to, you don't have to click any mouse buttons for this. Because what we're lining up for is we're lining up for a render. So we're going to hold Shift and S, bring this back as far as we can go. Okay, we're right at the edge here. I'm going to press Q to go down a bit. All right, let's see how we're looking. Hit F12 to render. All right, so we have we have a hallway going. Let's uh, let's do some depth of field real quick. Close this off, and we're going to zoom in just a bit. Just roll my mouse wheel um, on the camera. I'm going to turn on depth of field. Bring down this drop box. I'm going to bring my stop down to 1.5. Looking pretty good. Though I think I'm going to adjust my lights a bit. Gonna bring it down to 1500. Yeah, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good so far. Let's see, well, one thing I forgot to do is um, I need to set this emission right here, this emission, this plane down here. I need to turn this shadow mode to none. So now if we go back to our camera and hit F12 to render, we have a bright glow coming from down here. Okay, well, I think we're looking pretty good here, guys. So I think I'm going to make some more adjustments. I'm going to select my light up here and turn the power down to 1,000. Space Station's having some problems. It's, uh, you know, they're having to, having to cut budgets and everything and um, having to turn, you know, turn the lights down a bit. Actually, let's see. We're going to go over to our world properties. Drag this down. Yeah, now we're getting a darker hallway. Now I think we can bring our lights up a bit more. 1500. All right, guys. Well, I mean, that's looking pretty good. We've got our nice little sci-fi hallway going. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, be sure to hit like and subscribe and hit the little notification bell to uh, be notified of future videos. I'm uh, doing a lot of these, trying to do one of these at least, uh, you know, once every couple of days or at least put out one a week. Um, just really trying to spread my knowledge and just kind of the way how I do things in Blender. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks, guys.